Now joined on the sports mix by wide receiver for the West Virginia Mountaineers, Hudson Clement. And Hudson, my first question to you, kind of a funny one, because a lot of people here in the future that are Mountaineer fans are going to be saying it a lot, and I want to hear it straight from you. Is it Huddy Tuddy or Tuddy Huddy? Um, I don't know. That's been a, that's been a question uh, people have been asking me, um, but you know, I don't know. Whatever sounds best, I guess. Uh, I think both of them sound good, but. Um, I think Huddy Tuddy, I think would be probably the best in my opinion. But um, you know, I don't really, I don't really mind wh- whichever. All right, well, man, congratulations. Just taking it all in after the past few days, what's it been like for you? I mean, it, it, it's been crazy, man. Um, all the love, all the support, everyone reaching out to me. You know, um, you know, this is what I dreamed of when I was younger and stuff. And to have an opportunity to show them and um, do what I can do, it just it meant the world to me. Hudson, congratulations on the game and the scholarship. Um, you found out just moments before kickoff that you were going to be out there starting on Saturday. Uh, do you think that was beneficial for you in some ways because you didn't have like the lead up of being nervous and you could just kind of go out there and play football and then also kind of take us through, I guess, that moment when you found out and, and what your initial reaction was? Yeah, I mean, I think that was better overall for me. I mean, uh, we came out of the tunnel through the smoke, and we were over warming up, and uh, I got the uh, go-ahead for my uh, coach, my wide receivers coach. He pretty much just told me, he was like, hey, D.C.'s foot's bothering him. He's like, you're up. And I was like, okay, sounds good, coach. And, you know, I went out there and, uh, you know, did what I could with my opportunity. But, um, you know, it it was crazy, man, and I feel like, you know, that way, having it be like that, it didn't let me, you know, start thinking about it. I, you know, it, it was bang, bang situation, and I just got out there and had to do what I could do. Season opener on the road against Penn State. All you're in for is kickoff return as well as punt block, and then the last play of the game, you got to go out at wide receiver, but it was a run play anyway, so you were just blocking, and then a week later, you're starting against Duquesne. What's just going through your mind as soon as you went out on that field lined up one-on-one with the defender? Yeah, I mean, that I felt like that was my opportunity, you know, like, Stuff happens throughout the game. People go down. Uh, different things happen, and um, that was my opportunity. So I just, you know, I just tried to do what I could with it, and you know, it ended up working out. Hudson, obviously, you still have a lot that you want to achieve at WVU, but for you, being a guy that was overlooked coming out of high school, you know, had to walk on, had to work your way up. Um, how do you hope that your performance and showing that it's possible for a kid from the Eastern Panhandle that gets overlooked because it seems to happen a lot uh, can inspire others to follow their dream, pursue what they believe they can do, and go D1, even if it's a walk-on opportunity? Yeah, man. I mean, I think uh, my story just goes to show anything's possible. You know, I was really under-recruited, um, only had a PWO from two D1 schools, and, uh, you know, I, you know, I want to go D1 my whole life. So I, I took the shot and, you know, it ended up working out, but it just goes to show if, if you believe in yourself and, you know, you work hard, you can, you can do anything you want. Hudson, after the game, because of the numbers you put up and they were honestly tremendous, something that nobody else has done other than Tavon Austin and Stedman Bailey as a Mountaineer, you're told in the locker room that you get to be put on scholarship, just, talk a little bit about that and how much it's meant to you yeah i mean that i mean i came here to earn a scholarship that's been my number one goal since i got here and you know to be in the conversation even with uh two guys like that from west virginia it it means the world to me and to you know experience that with all my teammates and uh see all them happy for me it means so much and you know that that's that's what i've been grinding for and you know to have that happen to me after a great game like that it just it just really brought it all together and as i mentioned there in that question your name now put in the history books as a mountaineer with the stats that you put up with Tavon austin and stedman bailey that's it end of discussion just talk about having yourself in that conversation with them now yeah i mean it's an honor man i mean those are those are great. I mean, I remember watching Tavon Austin highlights before my 
the EPYFL games back in the day. Like uh, those guys are the some of the greatest to come out of West Virginia, and to be even in discussion with them is is insane. So Hudson, moving forward, what do you think is going to be your role with the Mountaineers, and what are some things that you hope to do this week uh, in the backyard brawl? Yeah, I mean, I, I hope to, you know, just capitalize on the opportunities I get, and, you know, we'll see. But um, I just hope I can do what I can do and, you know, help the team with whichever way I can. Did you ever think that you'd have this opportunity to play in the backyard brawl? Yeah, I mean, you know, you don't really – expect it but you know it's always in the back of your mind that you might be playing in a game like this and you know that now that it's you know going to be something that's actually happening it's a crazy feeling Hudson uh, another bulldog up there with you in Cam Chalice just wanted to know I guess how's Cam coming along uh, and what's what have you I guess to help his uh, transition yeah, I mean, Cam. Cam's going to be just fine. He, he's a hard worker. Uh, he does everything he's supposed to, you know. Uh, guys like Cam do fine up here because they love hard working, and Cam's a hard worker. And, you know, I've just been trying to help him out as much as I can with, the, you know, how the system goes up here. Because I remember, you know, when I got up here, it's, it's a lot different than high school for sure. So, you know, I've just been trying to be there for whenever he needs me, whatever questions he has, just be that sort of guy that he can look to. After the game on Saturday, I know there's probably been a swarm of Mountaineer fans wanting to get a jersey with your last name on it, Hudson. But the last I looked, that wasn't an opportunity for people to have. I was looking at Fanatics, and your name was not popping up. When is that going to be available? Yeah, I've been uh, working with uh, some of the people at WVU and uh, been trying to get that all figured out. So I think they should be up in the next week or so. But, um, yeah, I've, I've, I've been trying to get that figured out. So, you know, anyone who's supporting me can have a jersey with uh, my name on it. All right, last question for you before we let you go. Uh, just kind of going back to whenever you were a kid. I, I know you were a tremendous athlete, but was a multi-sport athlete as well growing up playing soccer. You were coached by my mom. Uh, I know you played football. You just talked about yep. as well. When did you know in your mind that football was your dream and that's what you wanted to pursue? Um, I think it was probably... <laughs> I don't know because it, it, it's been it's been a, a rough ride sometimes. I mean, g coming into from Berkeley Springs to Martinsburg, you know, I didn't didn't have the best high school uh, career leading up to my senior year. You know, COVID happened junior year and then sophomore year. I was on JV freshman year. I was on freshman team. So you know, not a lot happened. But um, uh, going into senior year. I think was that's when I really, you know, knew I had to take it to a different level and I had to really step up if I wanted to make this make my dreams reality. So I think that that was probably when I was like, this is something I could really do and this is something I want to do. All right, Hudson, appreciate it. Uh, before we let you go, you got any words of advice for, I guess, Martinsburg, man? Your brother, man. Murphy, really lighting it up. Yeah, I mean, th those boys are going to do their thing regardless. I'm, You know, I'm always watching, and I, I see them doing great things this year, and I see them, uh, you know, doing doing what they do, doing what Martinsburg does best, and that's winning football games. All right, Hudson, appreciate the time again. Congratulations on everything that has been accomplished by you so far, and we look forward to seeing even more and hopefully maybe even seeing you on the sideline at a Martinsburg game this year. Yes, sir, I appreciate that.